Hi, Jessica from the E-Rank team here, and today I'm going to be showing you the various ways that you can filter searches using E-Rank's keyword tool. Today, the keyword I've chosen for the demo is crochet hat. So I've typed it into the keyword tool, and here we are. I'm going to scroll past the keyword statistics down to the keyword ideas area. So just above where the keywords are listed, you'll see this big blue bar going all the way across. This has a bunch of different ways that you can filter the search results. So the default shows you the most relevant terms to the keyword that you've typed into the tool. You can also search by phrase, which will show you related keywords that include the terms that you've entered. For instance, crochet witch hat. It does have crochet and hat in it. Exact will show me only keywords that include what I've typed in in that exact order. For example, custom crochet hat. It has crochet and hat right next to each other. Broad will show me keywords that have at least one of the term that I've entered. So almost any keyword with the word crochet or the word hat will show up in these ones. You can also choose to include or exclude keywords. For example, if you're looking at crochet hats, you might be looking for patterns, but you also might be looking for physical hats. So if I look in the search results here and I see, oh, you know, I really don't want to see any fish hats. I can exclude the word fish and hit apply and it will remove all keywords from the keyword idea list that have the word fish in them. This is a great way to filter out, especially if you sell digital products or if you don't want to see digital products, you can include keywords such as PNG or SVG or exclude them if you only want to be seeing physical items. You can also choose to show tags only. So in general, the keyword ideas area shows both tags other sellers are using as well as the searches that buyers are putting into the search bar. By clicking show tags only, it will filter out the searches done by buyers and show me only the tags that other sellers are using. This is a great way to see what your competition is using and be able to do a little bit more digging into a wider variety of keywords. So let's get rid of this exclude keyword here and I'll show you what each result with crochet hat looks like. So we saw the default. So if I click phrase, it's going to reload the keyword ideas area and it's going to show me all of the keywords that have crochet, and hat in them. So I get crochet hat, crochet hats, and then crochet witch hat, custom crochet hat, crochet Fiona hat, crochet cow hat, etc., etc. If I go to exact, it will show me only ones that have crochet and hat next to each other. So we have crochet hat, custom crochet hat, pet crochet hat, etc., etc., etc. If I click broad, that will show me either crochet or hat. So I do have crochet hat and crochet hats first, but then I have just the word crochet, then crochet fox, which is not a hat, crochet bonnet, crochet gifts, beginner crochet, etc., etc. So you can do a whole lot of mixing and matching and refining to really dig deep into these keywords and find out what might work best for your listings. I hope that this tutorial was helpful and we at E-Rank look forward to helping you on your Etsy journey.